The Raspberry Pi makes a great kiosk. Buy a low-cost monitor, and with an additional Raspberry Pi, you can add kiosk capabilities. Better yet, the Raspberry Pi Noobs installer includes Screenly OSC, the open source edition of the Screenly kiosk software. Setup is a bit tricky, but once you have it running, it provides an excellent way to display dynamic and informative messages. Hi, I'm Mark Neiman Ross, and welcome to this week's edition of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Every week, we explore the Raspberry Pi and share useful tips. The hardware side of a Screenly Open Source Edition kiosk is simple. You'll need a computer monitor with a USB and HDMI port. Don't use a television. Someone with a remote and bad intentions may change your display. You'll need to use a Raspberry Pi with built-in Wi-Fi. I've tried using a Wi-Fi USB adapter, but it didn't have much success. Alternatively, if your kiosk will have access to wired internet, you can use any Raspberry Pi with an ethernet port. Download the latest Noobs installer from raspberrypi.org and use it to build an SD card with Screenly. Complete instructions for using the Noobs installer is found in the Raspberry Pi Essential Training in this library. Install the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and then connect the monitor to the Raspberry Pi via HDMI. You'll need to connect a mouse and keyboard for the Noobs install process, but once Screenly is installed, you won't need either of those. Finally, connect the monitor USB to the Raspberry Pi power. This avoids the need for a separate power supply. Turn on the monitor and the Raspberry Pi should boot. It takes a while for Screenly to install and run. The first time Screenly runs, it will also assist you with networking. This is the tricky part and will work differently depending on if you're using Wi-Fi or wired internet. If you're using Wi-Fi, Screenly will present you with an SSID and a password. The SSID is something like Screenly OSC JSMA. Write the password down, but you'll only use it once. In my case, I don't have Wi Fi enabled, so Screenly just provides me with an IP address. In this case, 10.35.3.114. To set up and administer Screenly, open up a web browser and point your web browser at the IP address that Screenly provided for you. In this case, it was http colon slash slash 10.35.3.114. Now we're looking at the Screenly administration page, and here is how we'll set up all of the slides to show and the frequency. At this point, you can disconnect the keyboard and mouse. Screenly doesn't need it for normal operation. When you're viewing the administration page, I highly recommend you enable authentication. Go to Settings, down to User Authentication, and turn it on. Here you'll be allowed to set up a username and a password that will prevent somebody from coming in and changing the settings that you want for your kiosk. After changing user authentication, you'll need to reboot, and unfortunately there is no reboot option in the Screenly administration tool. So you'll just have to remove the power from the Raspberry Pi and restart. When you do so, you'll use your new username and password to log in. The home page of the Screenly app shows you the playlist for your kiosk. This is what's being displayed on the Screenly kiosk. In the display you're looking at, the Screenly kiosk is shown to the left and the administration tool is shown on the right. You can add assets, either static or URL assets, by clicking on the Add Asset button in this case, I'm going to upload a file. After I've uploaded the file, I turn it on and enable it. You'll see that the Screenly kiosk is now displaying my asset. I can affect certain things about it, how long I want it to play for, the start date, the end date, and how long is the duration of this slide in the Screenly kiosk. I can also add dynamic URLs. Let's grab the NASA image of the day. I'll grab the URL for that. I'll go back to the Screenly administration page, add an asset, 
and copy and paste the URL that I want to add. You can see that it's appeared in the inactive assets. I'll turn that on. It moves up to the active assets. And the next time Screenly updates, you can see that the NASA image of the day has been added to the Screenly kiosk rotation. Screenly is also offered as a pro version with commercial installation and support. In addition, Screenly provides an API to access the Raspberry Pi system. It's possible to combine the Raspberry Pi GPIO with Screenly to provide interactive displays. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Raspberry Pi Weekly. Be sure to join the LinkedIn group and check out previous episodes on LinkedIn Learning. I'll see you next week with more Raspberry Pi adventures.